What's up, everybody? Welcome to my new video. I have some mad annoying news, or this thing that I'm going through on on the Alberta's website for mobile. But before I get into it, I want to show you guys my HTML exercise just did like a few minutes ago. It's supposed to be like a, a form. You just enter. It's a beginning form. It's not supposed to be a full form. Obviously, common sense would be name, address, blah, blah, blah. And probably another text area for the, or a drop down for the order you want to make. <clears throat> but it's incomplete. As you can see right here, I go back one. That's how it started off, right? With the name and address, and then it proceeded to that. And obviously, it's going to proceed to more, you know. It works well, so all it does, when you enter all of the information and then you press in order, it's going to open up on here i have a mail app um also on the phone there's a mail app or whatever phone you're using there's a mail app whatever laptop you're using it's gonna open up your mail and then it's gonna show up whatever you typed it's not gonna automatically send it so it's not at that level yet but um you know this is the code as of right now this is actually the, the longest piece of code that i've written for html 60 lines and um it has mostly it's mostly because of the because of the table as you can see they're not they're not long it's just vertically but yeah it's pretty much it as far as that goes as for the alberto's website it was kind of annoying because um i'm trying to do something and it's it's just not working bro but i did google some stuff and uh it might work. I've learned HTML and CSS, that's it. I've learned a little bit of um, JavaScript in the past, but um, as of recently, in my brain, it's HTML and CSS. That's what I currently like, or I'm currently using daily. I'm trying to do this HTML and CSS only. So when you press on this, let me, let me first show the, the McDonald's one, how I kind of want it to work. It's very simple, it's nothing too difficult. All you do is press, and you get this full page view. You press this, and it exits. It's not that difficult, there's no animations. You just press it, it appears, and then you take it away, that's all. On my website, the one I'm building, it kind of works that way, it kind of doesn't. So you press it, it opens this up. Don't mind the gray area, that's just my div. That's what I'm working on. I haven't worked on the link yet, but what I'm struggling with the most is this. You're not supposed to scroll down. Let me see if you can do it on the McDonald's one. Let's see, so this is the McDonald's one. You tap it. Are you able to scroll down? Nope. I'm not able to. Yeah, and then it just goes back. Obviously for this one, I just need to add the link so I could be able to close it and not having to reload it all the time. But yeah, it scrolls down. Something I don't want, you know, I don't want to happen. Some of the ways that I tried to fix it was um, using the position fixed. But it doesn't work, bro. Which one was it? I think it was this one. I think it was this one. So let's see. Position. Whoa, what's going on? Let's see, hold on. Position. Fixed. That way you won't be able to scroll. I think? Maybe, maybe position relative. I don't know. Right, let me go ahead and reload it. All right, let's see if it actually worked. Tap it. Oh, it, nope, it did not work. Thought it worked for a minute. And it gave it a little space up here. I don't know why. I'm gonna have to see that. No, yeah, I can't see that, okay. It gave it a little bit of a space. Yeah, still not, still not working. Let's try position relative. Relative. 
I'll just try that, and if not, then it doesn't work. I'm gonna have to mess with it a little bit. All right, let's see if it works. Okay. Nope, doesn't work. So I tried a bunch of things. Obviously not right now in this video, I only tried like three things, two, three things. But before this, I tried like a few other things. So my other option was to, um, and this is HTML and CSS only. So I was looking up other ways to other menus. Maybe I don't have to use a McDonald's one. I can use other menus. Like there's one that pops up on the side, on the left side, which would make sense. The, the hamburger button's on the left side. So if it pops up on the left, that makes sense. Um, the other option was, I don't know, I forgot to be honest, but this one with JS, obviously, I don't know JavaScript right now, so the other option is to go learn JavaScript, which would take a little bit longer, which I don't mind. I kind of want to learn, but, you know, we'll see. That's it for today, though. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.